Hi, welcome everybody. Um, this is part four of making a travel journal. Um, while I was off um, the camera, um, I created these tags. They have been cut with a, um, a die uh, and I don't know what the make is. I got it from AliExpress. Um, but what I did was I have a couple of um, dies that um cut into the paper and the one that i like the best was this one again it's another one that i've got from aliexpress and i thought with it having the tiles it was really nice um and i don't know whether you can see but it has like a i've put like a shimmer on it um and it's these um I think they're Enchanted Gold Polish uh, by Creative Expressions. Um, I was just messing about because when I went to look for them, two of them had dried up. I uh, thought I was going to have to throw them out. However, I opened them and I put some, just a little drop of boiled water, hot boiled water out of the kettle. And it seemed to revive them. I'm not saying that they'll be as good as what they were when I bought them because I don't know what the ingredients were but however it has softened softened it um, and I know you can wash the sponges that you use with soapy water so I thought well it, it's got to be water based at some point so it's it's done the trick um, and it saved me going and buying more or you know not having any at all so what we're going to do today is we're going to make some of these but obviously a smaller version i do have some that were um from the the digital kit um so we're going to use those and just to let you see um the the one that we were working on in three the it's quite nice um so fine grout is okay i did some uh, stenciling on the back because obviously the water had gone through so i used some of the stencils that i'd made so i'm, I'm quite pleased with that so i might do that again somewhere along the the journal but i'll use the the greek key so let me get my let me get cleared away i'll just clear the muddy so these are the tags from the, the digital kit. I've started cutting them out. There's two pockets. Um, they look like that. They are narrow pockets and the white bits. I don't know how I got two <laughs> double white lines there, but they are the fold lines. And as you can see, these are just quite narrow and quite nice. However, I've printed them off on copier paper. So I am going to back them on some card um, and then I'll, I'll cut them out um, but first of all I want to cut these this um, into both of them so I will do that off the camera um, otherwise it'll, you'll be sat here watching nothing and just listening to the, the, the machine going because um, I can't bring it onto my table so just Give me a couple of minutes i'll be back in a tick all right that's me back i decided to not only cut them out um with the machine i stuck them onto card now i've stuck them onto a craft card and i will just cut these out quickly uh, i think craft card actually goes with it and it's finding a colour that does suit. Um, I would have had to go rummaging around. And I thought, well, the craft card, because we will do some a bit of collage on, on these as well. We'll put some book paper and... now feel nice and crisp I did use um, a glue stick 
I don't have a favourite glue stick. I just use any. If I'm in the local supermarket and I've got it, I buy it. It could be their own make or it could be whatever. Um, that's a, a do crafts. Uh, well, it's called West Designs uh, products now. Um, and it is quite good. I used to work for them. I used to do demonstrations. Um in some of the, the craft shops that was a few years ago so there we have we've got a couple of lumps and bumps because obviously I'm down at the end of that glue stick and so I'll use my trusty Costa coffee card to get rid of the lumps and bumps I'll need to get a tissue as well because it's squeezing the glue out on my and I can wobble my table now because my camera <laughs> my camera's not attached to the table and we'll give this one a if you're going to use a a card or whatever the squeegee make sure that your paper's not wet with the glue and make sure that these are all stuck down because if the card catches them it will rip and then it takes a wee while just to mend it or repair it in some way so i'm just going to get my get my seat and sit down a bit um so what we'll do is we will wink, wink, round, wink round the edges. <laughs> we can wink round the edges if we like. We'll ink round the edges. <laughs> I think this ink pad's just about ready for re-inking. I never know when to re-ink them. Um, well, there's still come a colour coming out of it. I'm quite happy using it. And you try and get every last penny out of your crafty goods. And I'm just going to. looks quite nice just a little dot here and there so you can still you can write on the back of these um so i'm not going to put any lined paper or anything um it's just deciding what to what to put on if anything um, I've got some graph paper here um, just wondering if I should make a little pocket it's coffee dyed graph paper uh, I think the, the coffee was a little bit strong I didn't realise I'd put that much coffee. I just put water in the the tray, put water in the tray and emptied the, well, just poured coffee out of the canister. So, so we'll just cut these back a bit. And we'll use this and I've lost the, the nozzle off my, my glitter glue. I was away um, before Christmas. Um, so I took my craft stuff down there and obviously it was all packed in a nice bag all neatly. I've been crafting and then when I came up the road, 
I didn't repack it so neatly so I need to go back through and have a look at the all the containers because it's it's got to be in there somewhere I mean I wouldn't lose it um, I have put it away but where I've put it that could that anybody knows So there we've got a little pocket there and let me do these. I've got some book pages here um, from a, an old book that I and I was watching Tracy Fox and she was saying how, how she loves these um, bindings of off old books and it can take her hours to take them off and they just drop to bits when I try and take them off. It's quite an old book. It's got um it's called Behold Thy Daughter. So yeah it's in old language. Hmm, yep. And then I think we'll put a I'll either stamp a word on it. Oh, I've got two. See the glues come in. Oh. I'm getting in a right mess here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I put some of this on this book binding stuff. We'll see if we can pick some off here. Um, Tracy Fox will be proud of me. <laughs> no, Tracy, I just don't have the knack. <laughs> oh. She's a great junk journaler and she can turn any, anything into something of, of beauty and creativeness. I'll have to watch one of her videos to see if she actually shows how she she pulls it off. I've still got that little bit stuck on me. Right, okay, so um, do I want it down here or up here or there? Um, no, I'm going to have it down here. Just let it dry for a while. So we've got some little dangly bits of thread. Some little bits of book page. Are we on the the book? Now what are we going to do with this one? Um let me have a look. I've got some stamps here. Um I think we'll do a stamp on this. Right, just give me two seconds and I'll find my, my 
my small um, stamp blocks. Right, I found them. The smallest one I've got that will fit. I've got some little tiny, teeny ones, but I've got hundreds of them. Um, there's a couple in there. Right, so I'm using Vivid uh, Acid Free Dye Ink Pad. And it is jet black. That's quite nice. So I'm not sure if I want to put anything else on that. Um, I should have a hole punch somewhere. And I'll just punch a hole. Um, I will put a grommet in it, but I need to go and get those out of the the drawer so it's gone through the paper but left a bit on the card so I'm finding oh, it's telling me I've got an email I just feel it needs something else um, have I got any what have I got here? Road trip no um right, okay we've got some Montana, Madison, Texas, Boston, Albany. Right, we'll just use a text one. And this one I'm not even going to put on there. Again, it's another stamp that I've bought from AliExpress. I've actually stopped buying from them because um, one, you don't always get your parcel. And two, I've realised that a lot of them are copies. Um, so, which isn't so good. Um, we should be supporting our craft sellers. And this one I'm just going to... Put that there because that needs to get cleared, cleaned. Sorry, oh, where's that one with the map again? I've got bugs, but I don't really want bugs. I mean, I've just been looking up in in Cyprus, and they've got the, <laughs> the what is it they've got? blunt nosed snakes or something because where we go it is quite um like farm uh rural land you know we just sort of like set the little villas um so next time we go out on a a little trip i'll be watching out for snakes now i should have should not have had a look And this one says vacation, so we'll have vacation on it. Yeah. I think I might put some vellum on this. I do have some vellum. That nice little vellum pocket on, I think it would be nice. I'm 
just going to go and get my vellum out. I'll be back in a tick. All right, I've got some vellum. Um, these are just uh, freebie printables from the the internet. So this is um, a French book, I think. Yeah, I can't speak French. Um, I think it would be nice, so I will cut this piece out. I will rip the top. Right, so we will rip the top. And then I've got an upside down piece for another and then just putting a tiny bead of this down around the edges. doesn't show so much on vellum like with the glues um, if you use a, a glue that contains too much water it makes it wrinkle as well where this one's not too bad right I think we need to put a bit more here so that was Fabri-Tac I've used I've got some little bits. Oh, I should have inked that while it was when I didn't have it stuck on here, but never mind. Now, do I want um see this that's a map of America. Um I'm not going to America, but I'm going in the plane. So we'll try that one. I'll try one in a little tiny. These look like the bullet journal size stamps that you get. I should have had a look at them because I've got quite a few of them. It's not that good. Well, it's stamped all right, but it's not not black enough. Um, probably should have been a little bit more. Um, I'll try this. end of the day if it make a mess of it you just cover it up you just put an embellishment on it no mistakes in crafting right before you stamp your top jewelry and then mourn about it so the plane's done a couple of loop the loops. <laughs> well, it's not showing that great, but it's there. And I'm just going to put a hole in. In here. Oh, that one's. No, it's not. It must have a blunt bit on it, but I think that one has been used for cutting through leather. So 
so that's the two I'll see what else uh, they need I think they might need a bit of bit of bright yellow so I might put some of that on at some point um, we'll do these just let me clear away it's so quick to make a mess when you're crafting but I, when I, I get to the point where I can't do any more I've got to clear it away But it doesn't take me much to make a mess. Alright, it's the only scoreboard I've got. So I used to have a small one, but my little granddaughter claimed it because she liked scoring lines. Alright, so I am going to work with the... The one nearest. Okay. It's one thing with it having lines on, you can match it up on your scoreboard. Do this one. And if you, you know, if you do have a, uh, well, if you buy one of my digital kits, they're on Etsy, um, the pockets, you know, things like that, you can use as templates. So if you print one out on card, you can always use it on your own papers. Just cutting the corners off because I'd... One's got a little bit of a gone on its own there. Never mind. I need to put this scoreboard away. I never used the little one, but now I haven't got it. My granddaughter's claimed it. There is times when I could use it. Is it not always the way? You don't use some, then you get rid of it, and then you think, oh, I wished I hadn't. Now, there is a little bit of white showing on that one, but that's fine because the ink covers a multitude of sins. Here is we've got that one, and I put that one there because that was that again is the um, mosaics, the archaeological site that we went to, and I think this is the Tomb of the Kings. Um, so which one do I want to put this on? No, it's just too matchy matchy, isn't it? And then we've got a pocket. Mm. No, don't like 
make it there. Ah, that looks better. Right, so we'll stick this in here. Now I always put my bottom flap in first. Um, I think you're supposed to put it the side flaps in because if anything's going to get stuck it'll stick on the bottom flap but if that's on the outside I was I was watching somebody so we'll do that that way this time not that I've had any problems with anything getting st uh, stuck um, usually if something gets stuck it's because I've put the tag in while the glue's still wet just can't wait <laughs> like now <laughs> so then could put a bit of blue yeah I'll put that one in put some blue ribbon um, no. Oh no, that's on blue, isn't it? Ah, yeah, we'll put this one there. Oh, what's the other side? We could put it there. Yeah, because basically these pockets for me are for um, collecting tickets and things like that. Um, you know, when you go to these museums and monasteries and because we're going to be there for well it's is it 80 80 days um we obviously won't be going sightseeing every day and um, we'll just do a day a week we've have seen quite a bit of um that area from from last year uh, when we went for a wedding and we actually got um, stuck there due to COVID everything went into lockdown that was weird because the Cyprus government you had to wear your masks outside as well um, although where we were it was quite rural um, so they didn't really bother but you were supposed to, like when we went into Paphos, Paphos is the busy town, we had to wear our masks then. But um, it was, it was, it was quite weird. Now, so I'm going to put this here. So I, again, what I did was I did cut another pocket out and I put that there. And when I cut the pages down, that is what's left from there and I thought that went nice on there so I think we will use that Just give me two seconds while I put it no oh, that didn't work very good did it that's because I've got a pile on my cutter. I'm trying to move one pile to another pile. And there, so I mean, you could use this page to put your to put a pocket in to keep your boarding cards in. You know when you. You keep your boarding cards at the end of your your journey or your tickets or whatever. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to stick that down with. I'm going to see if I can use this up. I was actually surprised um, it's something that I've never used until I started doing junk journals um, and I thought oh that'll never stick I've always associated um, glue stick with you know that's a non-toxic glue for children 
It's um, quite amazing actually. Amazing stuff. Now we just need to find and if it comes away at the edges you just take your, your glitter glue. There we are. There like that, that's come away now there. I think that was the corner I had hold of. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. And I've still got some of the rough cuts. I've got Aphrodite here. I've got the postcards. I've got the off cuts from um, when I cut the, the, the dyed papers down. Um, and I've still got some more papers to use. So I'm... You know, I'm quite pleased with that. It is getting there. Um, it's still a nice chunky journal. Um, we'll see if these will... I think these will actually be a bit too big. I'll maybe just need to put them down there. See, it's true what they say about the... putting the, the bottom one on the outside. It does... No, that one is down to the bottom. So we'll put them two in there. And these were just that was that was a nice die. Um however trying to pick it out um because I'd done it on paper, it was a bit fiddly. Um so I think next time I use that die, it's a, that's a spellbinders one. Um I won't use it on paper, I will use it on card because card's a little bit more robust. Um, for, for pulling out of dies or I'll start using that easy release um, wax paper so there we are thank you very much that's tutorial 4 um, I hope you've enjoyed this um, and we will come back for tutorial 5 and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another um stencil with textured paste or in my case grout um i'm going to use the greek key and i want to use some different colors i want to maybe use some blues and greens and things um i mean it's nice having all these like sandy colors um but i like flowers as well i like green i like grass and that was one of the reasons I put that one in so I think maybe we might do the the Greek key on there or on the back no I don't want to put it on the back of there because it will come out but I want some pockets um, or some spaces for photographs because they, they always have um, lovely flowers although they, they don't stay lovely for long out there they, they die pretty quick in the place that we go in they have hibiscus and they actually have roses as well and they're some beautiful colours. We were there till the 13th of December last year and the bird of paradise flowers and there was still flowering when we left so I'm hoping that there will be some flowers still flowering where we're out there from the end of January to March. Okay, thank you very much. If you would like to know more, um, you would like to see some different things um please leave a comment um if you would like to follow me on this journey because i won't finish it just here i will be taking it out to cyprus with me uh to finish just hit the, the bell and subscribe so thank you very much bye